character details. Yoimiya's name is renowned throughout Hanamizaka. She is the most skilled pyrotechnician in Inazuma and is known as the Queen of the Summer Festival. Yoimiya, who has inherited the mantle of Naganohara, is able to give people an unparalleled experience with her ever-changing and spectacular fireworks. In addition to being a craft person, she is also the heroic sister in the eyes of many children. No matter how big the problem is, Yoimiya always has a solution to save the day. Be it the illusions of fear or the shadows of cold reality, they will all dissipate under the starlit magic of Yoimiya's fireworks. The children are not the only ones she helps. As long as one is willing to talk to her about their troubles, she will lend a helping hand and try her best to help them through the crisis. Splendid fireworks, warm starlight, and passionate lights all join in swirling dance in Yoimiya's hands. Her bright smile is always able to inspire fellow travelers and light up the way for them. <clears throat> Character Story 1 To Inazumans, fireworks symbolize summer. The various festivals that take place at fixed times feature a ro rotation of various events, with fireworks being sole constant. Over a century ago, the Yashiro Commission once organized a dazzling fireworks display with commemoration as the theme. The fireworks then were made by the greatest pyrotechnicians in the land, and this was the origin of the Naganohara Fireworks Show. In latter days, fireworks would become more common, and the Naganohara Fireworks Show would slowly become an event in which all people would participate. During the fireworks show, everyone can light their favorite fireworks, and the owner of the Naganohara Fireworks Store will pick an appropriate time to set up a most lavish performance. The year Yoimiya took over, her, fest her first fiesta was already jaw-droppingly good. On the night before that fireworks show, Kamisato Ayaka enjoyed Yoimiya thusly, and joined Yoimiya thusly. Her Excellency will be watching this fireworks display personally. As such, please add Her Excellency's emblem, the Electro Mistodomo, into the fireworks repertoire, if you would. Haha, <laughs> I would just wait for it, Yoimiya replied, agreeing with great confidence. Before the show could begin, Yoimiya ran all about the city, placing thousands of launch tubes in every nook and cranny. As the festival's finale, the blazing fireworks formed a gigantic picture scroll that depicted the city of Inazuma in the skies. Yet, Ayaka did not find the critical emblem in any of the fireworks and wondered if Yoimiya had made an error in her arrangements. It was only after speaking with Yoimiya that Ayaka discovered that the image of Inazuma in the skies had an angling trick added to it. If viewed from the Tenshukaku, the fireworks would form a huge, clear and orderly image of the Raiden Shogun's house crest. With some playfully lacy decorations on the side to boot, of course, how could Yoimiya miss a beat at the fireworks performance? This way, she won the praise of both the people and the Raiden Shogun, and this feast would become a timeless classic deeply rooted in the memories of countless people. With Yoimiya around, the Inazuman Summer shall not lack any glorious fireworks. Thus was her nickname, Queen of the Summer Festival, coined. Character Story 2 Naganohara's fireworks are loved by all and the work in the shop is always in full swing, as such people often feel that coming up to the door without important matters might hinder their work. However, it's just the opposite with Yoimiya, for chatting is her other great hobby. In fact, if there's no one to talk to, she might actually find it hard to focus. If chatting with the guest is her way of understanding their mood and way of thinking such that the best fireworks can be crafted, then going with the flow and sitting down for tea and an ideal chat with them after delivering the goods is how Yoimiya rewards herself. Sometimes, if that is not enough, she will make some small talk with her neighbors on the way, give them some small trinkets, and receive a basket of small treats in return. Yoimiya is always able to strike a balance between listening and speaking in such chats. 
She doesn't repeat herself, doesn't cross boundaries, doesn't come off as indifferent or overly invested. After a talk over tea, everyone leaves in a good mood. Her neighbors are all ordinary folk, and their lives are not exactly full of extraordinary things. Sometimes the same news will be told by different people over and over, but Yamiya does not find this upsetting. What she enjoys is the process of talking to others. Even if they speak of the same matter, different people will have different viewpoints. After taking over the fireworks shop, Yamiya's relationships with her neighbors became still more harmonious. Many old folks have taken her for an old acquaintance and often invite her to their place to sit and recount the festivals of yesteryear. Middle-aged parents will ask Yamiya to mediate the relationship between themselves and their children and regale her with the little trivialities of daily family life. The young people treat Yamiya as a sibling of sorts, <coughs> volunteering to help her cart heavy fireworks making materials around, hoping that Yamiya will get off work faster and take the children out to play. Yamiya puts it this way, I believe in the unique power of language. There's nothing that can't be talked through somehow. <clears throat> Character story, Trace. Craftsmen seeking perfection are often rigorous and self-disciplined, but Yamiya is an exception, acting freely and taking unscheduled breaks. Sometimes she even has to work late into the night when she misses her daytime work due to chatting for too long, but then but when the sun begins to rise, she will climb up to the heights to see the sunrise with a sense of accomplishment at having finished her work in her heart. Looking out at the lazy amber gold clouds, Yamiya often gains new inspiration, imagining all manners of new fireworks in her mind, even as sleep draws near. Her neighbors have often found her sleeping in places like eaves, tree branches, and stopped water wheels. Sometimes she even falls down before literally watching her sweet dreams and golden stars fade away into the distance. Fortunately, she has never been seriously injured in such incidents, but she has gotten a number of scrapes and cuts, and it was on that account that she learned how to deal with wounds. At some other time, Shomiya will sleep until midnight, settling all matters with gusto before heading out for a stroll. Perhaps it may turn out to be an impromptu adventure, or perhaps a test of courage. If a friend is interested, she might call upon them, if she wishes to be alone, she will travel in solitude. Living as she pleases gives Yomiya a sense of freedom. As for others, they may encounter her at any time at all. She enjoys this freedom, often saying that it was made her life very interesting indeed. Of course, she will restrain herself on the eve of celebrations. Mistakes shall not be made during these all-important performances. Her official business. <clears throat> Apart from selling fireworks, Naganohara Firework also sells various intricate knickknacks. This can be said to be Yomiya's second career. All manner of trinkets adorn the shelves, with some of them being exotic imports from Baidu that were modified and made into highly distinctive handicrafts, and others being practice works created during bursts of Yomiya's explosive inspiration. From the scatter bloom marbles, that will blossom when they knock against each other, leaping tops that chirp like birds as they spin, the neon dragonfly that changes hue as it ascends into the air, and the somewhat failed Onikabuto chariot. All these toys are inspired by the little games that the common people play. They are not only popular among the children, but are much loved by adults as well. Even Arataki Ito, the head of their Arataki gang comes over to buy her specially made knickknacks, which he then brings to go challenge the one he has declared his nemesis. Yomiya's knickknacks are not just toys, with some thought they can be very useful in one's daily life. The most classic example of this is the Katidid coil, which is a ring that can contain a variety of flammables and spices. When ignited and hung up in summer, it can be used to repel mosquitoes. Many people have come to ask Yomiya, <coughs> sorry, ask Yomiya for help on account of her excellent craftsmanship. And though she protests, saying, Hey, now this is a fireworks shop, not an everything shop. Even I can't possibly do it all. 
She will still try her best to help, even if her earnings for the whole day are only enough to buy a few snacks. She'll enjoy the whole thing, too. Everyone in Hana Mizaka is her friend, after all. Character Story 5 The rainbows become fireworks, and they my wishes. No, my wishes rise into the skies, and through the night they show. This nameless folk song has been around for a long time now. In recent years, it was misconstrued by the children to mean that as long as they brought some shiny trinkets, they could exchange them with Uemiya for fireworks that belong just to them, and that if they lit those fireworks up, their wish will come true at some point in the future. As such, the children of Hanimizaka set about searching for beautiful little trinkets with this song on their lips before bringing them to Yomiya with expectation eagerly written on their faces. <coughs> Yomiya was quite troubled by this at first, but after hearing how the children had interpreted that song, she accepted their requests gladly and even added her own spin up to the tale. The rainbows in the song not only refer to shiny treasure per se, as long as she found them sufficiently shining, whether they were colorful rocks from the creeks or shell fragments from the beaches, she would take them and make lovely fireworks as per the agreement. Indeed, if they were to bring her expensive things, she might in turn say that they are too ordinary and take the child to look for the owner of those lost goods. But it really did not matter if the treasures were shiny or not. The important part <coughs> was the conviction the children had that rainbows could indeed be exchanged for fireworks. Though some might take it for naivety, Yomiya will give her all to protect the lovely wishes that only children can have. The things we believe in and experience that children become irreplaceable treasures. The legendary picture books of Inazuma are often filled with the following images. The cute and playful great Mujina Yokai, the majestic Shiva warrior, the origami Nu who appears out of nowhere. Perhaps those who drew demons in such cute forms also had a similar intention to Yoimiya. Children gather around Yoimiya enjoying a gladsome time, even amongst Inazuma's lockdown. Yoimiya's own childlike heart and liveliness never dulls. Like fireworks and stars, the shimmer, the shimmer and shine in the night sky. <coughs> Yoimiya's candy box. Sweet pearl. Every festival, Yoimiya not only tries snacks from every store, but she also collects all sorts of candies, wraps them up with care, before storing them away inside a small candy box. Yoimiya's candy box is a small crimson ball that has been decorated with delicate lanyards and ornate accessories, much like the hair accessories she often wears. Each time she encounters a joyous event, she will take one candy out of the box and eat it. If her friends or the children are around, she will share the sweets with them. Yaimiya's neighbors often mistake her hair ornaments for the candy box, hence is an anonymous nickname, Sweet Pearl. The speed at which the box lightens is taken for an important measure of happiness. The quicker it empties, the more pleased Yaimiya is. Sometimes when things get busy, she sometimes absently uses the candy box as a hair accessory, realizing her mistake only after the day is done. Still, even this error would inspire Yaimiya. From then on, she would wear them interchangeably. Take a guess, does my hair ornament have candy in it today? Or free pick of the sweets to anyone who gets it right. Vision. Yoimiya is always up for a chat. It is only when the fireworks are ascending into the skies that she quiets down and just watches the lovely scenery. People often say that fireworks come and go in a fleeting heartbeat. But if they are memorable enough, they will remain in the bloom forever in people's hearts. Those who accompanied you and the liveliness of the moment itself will burrow deep into your mind as a beautiful memory. And as you look upon the same fireworks many years later, that same memory and the feelings that came with it will surely rise again to the forefront of your heart. Is this not also eternity? The special firework formula state slips. They belong slowly to the Naga Nahara family exists for precisely this purpose. By incorporating goodwill and wishes into the gorgeous fireworks, ephemeral things are etched into eternity. This is the meaning of Yoimiya's line of work. On one summer night, following her taking over Naganohara fireworks, Yoimiya could not sleep unless she continued in her research till daylight came. 
Suddenly, she heard a tinkling sound, and a burning red object fell into an unused launching tube. At first, <coughs> Yoimiya used her vision as a sort of lighter. Fortunately, her father discovered it and explained a vision's significance to her. So this tiny gem could grant a person astonishing and mysterious powers. And yet, what else could it do other than protect the children or chase some mischievous monsters away? Even if it could have other uses, Yoimiya thought, it may not ever need to do with these things in my hands. I'm just someone who pursues happiness, a fireworks maker who enjoys living life. Time has flown since then, and Yamiya has grown ever more skilled with the manipulation of fire, with her skill at making fireworks having likewise increased. Sometimes she stops to ask herself this. How did someone as ordinary as me receive the acknowledgement of the gods? Did the gods enjoy fireworks by any chance? Voice. Yoimiya is voiced by Jenny Yokobori.